Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Um, me and Ashley got something that I thought was funny that we bought from the dollar store. What were we even at the dollar store for? I think we were just looking at like utensils or plates yeah, or something. Yeah, browsing plates and stuff. Yeah. And then we just ended up going down every single aisle. Yeah, just to look. Um, look. <laughs> We've got Master P's Wrap Snacks Icon Ramen Noodles. And this is a creamy chicken gumbo flavor. I did not know Master P was in the ramen game. I don't know why Master P is in the ramen game. I almost wonder if Master P even knows he's in the ramen game. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was just such a random thing that we both looked at. as like, yeah, we got to get this. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> here we are eating Master P's ramen, otherwise known as Percy Miller. Otherwise, no, also known as Master P, as it says there. Uh, so we've got our nutritional information, if you're interested in that. And then ingredients, if you're interested in that. Um, how much was it? $1.25, because it was at Dollar Tree. And they upped their prices 25 cents. <sighs> it's no longer a dollar. All right, give that a sniff. Oh, Okay. It smells good. It yeah. smells like it's got maybe some chili powder in there, yeah. something of that nature. So we're just going to go ahead and fill this up with, with some hot water I have on hand. And, you know, we're going to let it set and we're going to see how good Master P's creamy chicken gumbo is. I'm so excited for this. Here in a couple minutes. I'm, I'm not going to lie. If this is good... Like, I'm going to be pretty hyped up about that. <laughs> if it's terrible, I'm not going to be surprised. But I, I bet it's pro I'm going to guess. Prediction, I'm going to say it's good. Okay. What do you think? Well, yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay. She thinks it's going to be bad. <laughs> anyway, we're going to set this aside, come back, try it out. All right. You ready for Master P Ramen? I'm so ready for this. Y'all ready for this? Copyright straight right wow. there. Wow, you're banned. Yeah, I mean, it looks, you know, fairly. It really zapped up all the juice. Smell it. Okay. It's got a good smell. Let's dive in. Dive in like we know what we're doing. Okay. Noodles. Focus. Or not. Doesn't want to focus. It is creamy. Oh, there is broth down there. Yeah, there, there's a little bit. Tastes like Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Tastes like breadstick seasoning. Okay, yeah. That's a great description, actually. Um, all right, look. The noodles, there's nothing special about the noodles themselves. They're pretty standard ramen noodle. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Taste-wise, though, it's a little bland yeah. for me. I don't really... I, I couldn't tell, necessarily, that this is chicken. No. It was a very bland taste. It, you could taste the, like creaminess yeah. of it but it was also watery in a way too so it was creamy and watery but like yeah. flavor wise there wasn't much flavor no yeah exactly not much flavor and <clears throat> the flavor just seems off like you're talking about creamy chicken gumbo yeah this tasted like creamy garlic parmesan chicken yeah i'd agree with that without much chicken so yeah, a, a bit of a bit of a non-starter for me. I, I probably and I can get other cheap ramen that I know is better cheaper mm -hmm. than a dollar twenty-five. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like I can get 
granted, prices are different now than they used to be back when I was actually eating a lot of ramen, like college or pre-college or whatever. But like, you can still get like packages of ramen for a lot cheaper. Mm-hmm. Still, so pass. <laughs> sorry, Master P. I, you know, I'm sorry too, man. I mean. <laughs> Hopefully this is doing something for you. <laughs> you got my dollar twenty-five. <laughs> anyway, if any of you have tried this at home, let me know what your thoughts were. Maybe you got a better pack. Maybe this was just a lame one. I have no idea. But um, love to hear from you. Leave it in the comments and leave any suggestions for future videos you might have. If you'd like to send something in uh, to be reviewed on the channel, PO box is down below along with the Patreon link. If you want to support the channel, you don't have to, but it's there. And don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.